so it's day two then. Um, the community booth behind me here, um, <laughs> there's lots of people being manning it. Uh, Matt Beard, Mark Carrington, a lot of other people um, being giving out swag. And it's literally like the hordes coming down every time there's like something to give away, like a hoodie or something. Just so many people kind of grabbing stickers and cool other swag. Hey, Steve, Steve photo bombing. Um, yeah, he just keeps on cropping up. <laughs> I just ran into uh, Anna Chu. Um, Hi. <laughs> First time we've met yes. face to face. Yes. It doesn't feel like it. No, I feel like I've known you forever, Scott. It, it, exactly. <laughs> um, and and Anna really is one of the powerhouses behind the social media. <laughs> it's the whole social media campaign. I think I can call it a campaign. But I swear that I've seen you standing here um, on this, doing a great job on the community booth here. And you've been tweeting at the same time. How, how oh, do you do it? How do you do it? A little known secret. I don't know if it is a secret, but you can actually schedule tweets. So that way I can do double duty. I can still be here physically in person, interacting with people in real life, but also keeping everybody else informed while they're at the conference or they're experiencing FOMO because they're not here. Uh, but either way, you know, we've got to use our tools to help us to get the word out and let the community know about what's happening at this conference. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I hope people aren't getting FOMO. I hope people are just like seeing it and kind of, I think yeah. it's JOMO, it's like joy of missing out. Joy of missing out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I think there's like, you know, uh, just living vicariously through us, right? Because I know a lot of people want to be at these events and not everybody feels comfortable meeting in person, but that's okay. You know, I've certainly been really thrilled to see all these people in real life, especially people that met during the pandemic online. And then they come up to me and say, oh my God, hi. And that's been one of the greatest pleasures about being here, just seeing people for a really long time that I, I've known for a long time and I haven't been able to meet them in person. So that's been wonderful. Thank you ever so much for all the great job you've been doing. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you later on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm now going to go and, and check out uh, what the sessions are next. Um, I'm also going to go and try and see if I can get a selfie with Scott Hanselman because I'm such a huge fan of him. Okay, I am now seriously starstruck. Um, I, I may start to say, speak gibberish. That is a low bar for stars. More gibberish than normal, I have to say. Um, I've just run into Scott Hanselman. I am such a massive fan. I think you were podcasting before podcasting was a thing. Uh, I think Carl Franklin was first, but he's the one who changed me into doing Don't it. Don't rocks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You recently made, you did a tweet about trying to understand if someone was a programmer or not. Hang on. Hey, he's Donner as well. <laughs> What are we doing? doing? And then another person. Oh, I was asking about, remember the tweet I did about how um, you're a programmer if you're a programmer? Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you know you're a programmer? Well, you're a programmer. Yeah. Yeah. You're low code. You program. I don't care if there's low code or, or no, code. no code. You said code. You so... said code in the little box where you put in formulas and things. That is right. If it's a friend. really complicated Excel yeah. macro, you're a programmer. Oh, yeah. Ask those finance people. They were like, oh, we're not programmers. I'm like, have you seen this macro? Because no one, no one knows how If there's an if program. statement, you're yeah. a coder. If there's an Sorry. event that you're handling, you're a coder. You're a coder. Well. HTML2, you're also a coder. Now you got to believe that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry. This is why you, why did you invite me to this? So, okay. Actually, you didn't. I'm just crashing. I'm, should I, I said I was leave? starstruck about Maybe Scott. I should leave. I'm should also get, starstruck so about you, Donna, as well. <laughs> um, I'm literally, this is just amazing. We did not plan this, this JFII, obviously. Yeah, yeah um, um, beautiful. We did not plan this, just so you know. Um, <laughs> she just walked They by. were, I was walking to my actual thing and- You're gonna wanna turn this way and make sure that she's in the frame. <laughs> these two lovely people are standing here doing something important looking, so I thought I'd crash them. Yeah, yeah. It's Scott's doing a vlog. A, a vlog. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's because you're super famous. <laughs> I, uh, I I bumped into. I was on the way here. Uh, so the walking. Scots are having a conversation. So well, I, anytime a bunch of Scots chat, are talking, you're getting to yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking for registration. Yeah. I'm totally lost. Yes. And I see a, a gentleman who just looks a little bit um, starstruck, and yes. not by starstruck by me, but yeah. by by this the situation. By the situation. Okay. And I said, "Are you a, are you a programmer?" Because I wanted to see yeah. if you would self identify he said, I'm an industrial engineer, which as a programmer, that's so much more impressive. That's way better. Right? Yeah. And, but about seven months ago, he found Power Platform. He started solving problems at work for the industrial engineering, whatever, like the line or whatever they do there. Mm -hmm. And this is his first tech conference ever. Whoa. I and love he's, that. He's, he's like empowered. Yes. So that's like, 
Boom. He's doing Pro the thing. Problem solved. Did you now get he's... his name? We want to interview that person. Oh, I'll, I'll find him when I see him okay, again. Okay, when you see him again, get his, just get a picture of his, uh, yeah. whatever, badge. Yeah, you got because it. Because we're trying to capture all the stories it was really of these cool. sorts of things. It was really cool because yeah. he's already an engineer and right. now he's another kind of engineer. That's right. That's right. We've met so many people who are doing some sort of a technical field, mm -hmm. like the accountants and the finance, people who are really good at like a craft of something, right? Yep. And then now they've gotten into PowerPlat because they bring their expertise from that other thing, Mabob, into to building apps and automation agents for everybody. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. What would you say to those developers that say, ah, we've seen this all before. We've, it's just a raising the oh, level can, of I abstraction. I that because I was yep. there. We have seen it before, mm -hmm. except we didn't have really good source control. We didn't have the cloud. We didn't have- um, Admin and governance. We didn't have governance, right? We didn't have open APIs and we didn't have Swagger. You know, we, we tried to do this we had Visual Basic, and then we had like 10 years go by, and then we had SOAP. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't a time when there was a 4GL no. and really yes. good interfaces. Also, we didn't have the need. Mm -hmm. Right now, we clearly see the need. We have to get 500 million enterprise apps built in the next three years by BT Dubs. Ain't no way you and I are doing that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. It's not happening. We need to go recruit an army of people to help us out. And guess who the best people are? People who actually know what the app's trying to do. Domain experts. Exactly. Not us. Why would we figure out industrial factory things? Exactly. Yeah, no. But I will also say that we've never had Fusion Teams before. The concept. Yeah, that's true. Right? This is the first time we're actually talking about it as a thing, like an industry thing, not a random like side project of some nerd. It's like, you know, let's get together with our pro dev, low, low code dev, IT friends form a little cult and then you know deploy throughout the land. And that's literally what my talk is tomorrow. Form a cult and deploy throughout the land. Exactly, that was the name of the talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should actually be a talk we give. We should do that. Yeah, right. form a cult and deploy please, throughout please, the land. Please, can you just change, change it now? Or yeah. Now. I'm gonna change no. all the signage Oh my now. gosh, <laughs> we gotta actually do this talk. We should do this talk for something. All right. Called, form a cult, deploy throughout the land. <laughs> So good thank to you see ever you. so much. Okay, Scott, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Right. And I'm, I'll I'm just, see you later. I'm just going to go and, and do some breathing exercises just to, <laughs> to calm down from this. All right, <laughs> thank I'll you see you so later. much. Bye. Just run into a very good friend. Uh, MVP used to be an MVP, now works for yeah. Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I had to trade in my MVP badge for the blue badge. Well, it's yeah, like, both. And, and apparently it's the. I was told it's the acceptable way to lead the MVP program. Well, <laughs> you'll be just Nick Dolman to me, the Nick Dolman forever for me. Oh, you know, okay. It doesn't matter if you're a blue badge <laughs> or MVP. Now you're involved, heavily involved with Power Pages. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, a, I'm, um, I'm responsible for the, the documentation for Power Pages. You can find that on now learn.microsoft.com. Used to be docs at Microsoft.com. Right. I've seen a lot of focus on Power Pages. It's been, it was in the keynote, I mean, even the Visual VS Code integration, hey. I got like a round of applause. And you know how you know it's a big deal? We have our own icon now. <laughs> like that's where you know you've arrived as a product. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool, Scott, because it's like, it is um, you know the evolution of Power Apps portals, but as opposed to being a feature of Power Apps, it's now its own thing. But it's not just, it's not just a case of Microsoft taking a sticker and slapping on top of Power Apps portals and calling it a done day. Tons of new features. I see the stuff that's being now um, released, rolled out in preview now, all the way up to the, the 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 GA date that I don't think I'm allowed to say. On a completely unrelated note, <laughs> Ignite is coming up. So wink, wink. Uh, um, anyways, so yeah, it, but there's new like you know the design studio where you can go in and design your web page um, using these tools. You don't have to go back in the portal management app as a pro developer too. It's like you know there's a, you're going to notice there's going to be a little icon that says. VS Code, and you'll be able to open up VS Code, the web version, mm. and make your changes directly to your pages that way. So, and there's just a, tons of other features like data workspace, so you can go right into Dataverse and make your tables and your forms and views without having to jump over to Power Apps and do mm. that. You can do that within the Design Studio now. Thank well, we trust you. it because you're now on the inside. You're yeah, kind exactly. of making... advocating. You need yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You can make websites for your external customers. Mm. 
um, for your communities and everything, but using the power platform, you don't have to rely on other tools. Behind us, there's the uh, lineup for to see Charles. It's like take it's a like, selfie with Charles. It's like I mean, Comic Con, man. It's like it's like it's, Sh it's like Shatner at Comic Con. <laughs> there is like a lineup around the corner. Now, I think what Scott and I are going to do is we're going to set up a table beside Charles and like get your picture taken with Nick Bowling, get your picture taken with Scott Durrell. <laughs> And um, I think Chris Huntingford's around here too, and a few others. And maybe we should just set up a line of tables and just see who gets the biggest line. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think we might be taken down by his handler. Oh, uh, oh, for, probably fairly yeah, quickly. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, they'll yeah. get like the, yeah, yeah, the exactly. call and the... call the security. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Amazing Lisa Crosby. Um, amazing I, Scott Euro. <laughs> I'm equally starstruck by meeting Lisa. I think we're having mutual starstruck moments. We're having a lot of fun here. I'm, 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 still, re I'm still recovering from, from meeting Scott Hanselman. It does seem to be like everyone is trying to grab as Every, much swag oh yeah, as I possible. Know. And the swag just goes. They gave, away, they gave away all of the hoodies in like 20 minutes apparently this morning. That the, the, was gone. Basically, people have, have, have had the last two years where they've had no swag. No swag. So they're trying, to make, the swag. trying exactly. to make up for it. And everyone, everyone grabs handfuls of it. So um, how was your workshop then? Because you did oh. uh, a full day workshop I on the model I did a full day workshop on my own 150 people in the room which was quite something I think I was a bit lucky I had a big wide room where I could actually see people but the range of people in that workshop went from complete beginner and not just complete beginner but someone came up to me at the end and said I didn't even know what model driven apps are right through to people asking about how do I migrate from SQL and what's this technical limit of this and that and the other so it was very huge range of people and, and your workshop's still to come right i know oh You're well it's, it's, not, it's nothing so grand as a workshop i mean it's just two two sessions we need someone to come up and ask for a selfie while we're recording a video do you reckon we can make that <laughs> you, happen you had a lot of that action i think <laughs> oh, I'm hey aren't you, I'm a aren't you lisa from youtube <laughs> <laughs> The reality of going home and being a normal person is going to crash. I'm <laughs> pretending to be a celebrity for a week and having a bit of fun with it. There's no, there's no shame in that. Compared with like, three years ago is the last time I was at something like this when we were in Atlanta. Yeah. And that was that felt like all of us who'd been in for two or three years, first time we came together. Yeah. This feels like a whole lot of people who are brand new, like brand new to it and, and coming along and saying, my company sent me here because we need to figure out how we can get into this. Yeah. So lots of customers, lots of people who are just like soaking up all the learning they can possibly, like all the workshops were just packed. It was amazing. I'm just gonna go and do some recording. Um, with, with April, um, so I think this is the studio, I think the right studio, I think I got the, ro the room wrong, so looking pretty. Here she is, here she is. This is like a pretty cool setup. It is, it's a Look legit this. recording studio. This is not, uh, this is not a Teams. No, in person. <laughs> exactly, with like bright lights and yes. with everyone's, you know. Not... Actual human interaction. I know, wow, absolutely. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for inviting me. It's tempting in this moment in history to think that low code is new because a lot of people are new to low code. Uh, low code is not new. Uh, it is probably one of the oldest concepts in software and software development. Fantastic end to the day. I'm now going to go and meet a few people to take the water taxi over to City Walk, which is right next to the island of Adventure, Universal Studios where the uh, conference party is. Really looking forward to it. Um, I think it's this way.
fantastic party. It's amazing that uh, the Power Platform Conference got exclusive use of uh, the island of adventure at Universal. Um, we got on all the, all the rides so quickly through the, the queues, through the lineups. Unfortunately, I've had to head home a little bit early because my sessions that I'm doing back to back tomorrow morning start at eight o'clock, all in the name of Power Platform, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, good night, see you tomorrow. So I'm up bright and early. Um, just found my room that I'm doing my two sessions in, got the slides sorted out, got the AV, um, just gonna chill out now I guess, get a coffee and wait for everyone to arrive. Okay, here we go everyone. When I say power, you say effects. Power! Effects! Power! Effects! Well, my session went really well, had so much fun. I really hope everyone that attended it have had as much fun as I did. I also went to see Adrian Orth's session on the roadmap of custom pages. He showed some really exciting things like dark mode in model-driven apps, um, also Fluent V9 in model-driven apps, uh, and he outlined the, the roadmap for how we're going to get other features like being able to parameters between custom pages and, and creating like a metadata driven way of opening up a custom page inside a model driven app uh, for a form in, instead of a model driven form. So that was uh, really good to see because it addresses some of the things that a lot of people do ask about. Christine called Cold Jeski? Yeah. Um, I always get that wrong. <laughs> um, I'm, it's, I'm such a fan of all the work we have. I've had you on the XRM Toolcast, of course. You continually create beautiful user interfaces. Are you going to be showing like how to build those things? What are you going yeah, to Yeah, so tomorrow I have two sessions, one on accessibility, which we know is really important when building any kind of interface. And then the second session is the hands-on UI and UX, so how to really take your application to the next level, um, how to build nice looking applications. And we have a lot of hands-on stuff. So the session is called Love at First Sight. So we know that if an application looks nice, everyone wants to use it. So. Uh, feel free to join me because I'm doing a yeah. session on the creative kit <laughs> and I mean you can't get two ends of the spectrum yeah. you've got like create a kit which is like all well I mean it's consistent but you know it's everyone's seen it before and then you've got your kind of beautiful user interface that no one has seen yeah. before um, and I think isn't people quite often say oh power apps look really boring you know they, why do they look so I'm sunny? glad you said that oh, I, <laughs> you've obviously been a very outspoken on Twitter about saying Thank you. you don't have to make apps that look boring. I mean, what would you what would you say the best way in? You know, what would be the resource that you would start with if you want to make your apps? Look? Yeah, no, definitely. It's really funny because obviously we have the session at the same time tomorrow, and one of my first slides is a shout out to you and the whole Powercat team for creating a creator kit. So we have a session in literally parallel rooms. So you're going to be in a session uh, in the room next door at the same time. So I'm going to say to people, you know, funny enough, Scott Duro from the Powercat team is doing his session next door. Do not leave this room, please. Just stay here. Yeah. Even though I'm talking about his kid, just stay here. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm talking about your your kid. <laughs> People are going to get up and leave because they're going to see your stuff and they're going to get my out of my so, session. They're going to go into yours next door. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so if we both come out bruised, we are fighting for audience at a conference tour. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so uh, just going back to your question, I think my first kind of top inspiration, if you've done front end development, uh, dribble.com and codepen.io is the two kind of websites I love. Uh, so have a look how other UI and UX designers have approached a problem, whether that's a specific application use case, whatever that might be, and see how a professional UI did UX designer um, does that, and then try and replicate that. So get mm. inspired. Uh, the beauty of CodePen IO is that you can actually see the source code as well. Uh, so you can have a look how people have done it in actual code and try and replicate that in a power app. Nice. And then my other kind of favorite uh, inspiration is have a look at your mobile application. So have a think about the last application you used that you really enjoyed using and what did you like about it and try and replicate mm, that mm. in the power app, I think. <laughs> it's been lovely speaking to you, Christine. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, lovely to see you, Scott. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I can actually contain my excitement. Scott Hanselman's going to do the keynote starting in five minutes. Can't wait to see what he's got to say. He's uh, talking about it's a great time to be a cloud developer. So I'm going to go and get my seat on the front row. Now we'll go split screen here. Hang on one second. I want to make sure we get this and that we're right. So Scott Hunter is the back end on the right. And we've got Julia on the left inside of the monitor. Yeah. Okay, so your breakpoint did not hit. Hang what on. Is, what is all this? 
That's a bunch of schmutz. Did he do something? It's a technical C sharp term. Hang on a second. Failure to bind parameter GUID. That is not a GUID, that is a date. Yeah, that is not mine. Jack Hughes! <laughs> I think it's you. Uh, and now with the power of the power platform, she's already got the thing fixed and in production again. Isn't that good? <laughs> wow. So amazing to see real life demonstration of fusion development. Um, so Scott Hanselman building a API, deploying it into Azure Live, and then exporting a custom connector, getting that deployed, and then Julia Casper taking that custom connector, testing it, and then integrating it into a Power Apps. But you know what, the thing which was so amazing is that then they showed actually the collaboration between ProDev and Low Code, um, where debugging it with like real-time debugging inside Visual Studio whilst a custom connector is being called from a power app. Um, it just was phenomenal. So, so slick um, and inspiring. The next one is Heather going to do a sort of closing uh, keynote. She's always entertaining, so really looking forward to that as well. Okay, and look who I have just <laughs> run into. Hello, in the corridor. The amazing Heather Newman Cook. Heather Cook yeah. um, now, yes, and <laughs> yeah. um, uh, the executive or one of the executive producers of the whole event. Yes. Um, amazing I mean, job. Can I ask you, like, you know, has anything surprising happened? I mean, what's the best thing so far that's happened? Oh, my goodness. There's so many. I, it, it's, you know, being back in real life is just so nice with everybody. I, I Honestly, I think... Being able to introduce Charles Amana for the opening keynote was I just, I was pinching myself the whole time. And I think that moment that you saw where I kind of like, I did, I looked all the way down and then I looked all the way, like the room, it's just like 4,000 people. Like it was just, I, I, I kind of, I had a moment of like, wow, you know? So that to me per, on a personal note was just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think I've done that before either. You know, I haven't been in front of that many people speaking. Um, I've done a lot of keynotes, but it's just a big, big crowd and it's been a while. So to me, that was amazing. And it's just the other thing is that, the, um, you know, the conference app, we turned the conference app on um, about a week before the event. And I, I, there are hundreds of meetups that all of the community has just done. You know, they're like, hey, I'm this, this, or this, and we want to talk about that. And there's like, boop, boop, boop. There's like every, like, the conference app is, I looked down and there's like 8,000 notifications. I was just like, okay, well, that's It's uh, awesome. Everyone's using it to communicate with yeah, each other. Yeah, like, absolutely. You know, everyone's like sending messages and there's like, totally. there's like groups that people yep. are part of. It's just so buzzy. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, and fantastic job about the keynotes. I Thanks. Mean, I, I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. And and what I love about it is the community focus, you know, yeah. hashtag community rocks. It's absolutely. right up there. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah. It's cool that Microsoft, you know, is really investing in it and also talking about it you know the, our executives all of them you know like Charles Lamana and Jeff Teeper you know definitely um, so supportive and supporting a community global initiative that we've started both of them on both sides to really look at and lean in how we as Microsoft support community-led events even more um, with like more playbooks and you know just more clarity around that for our community producers and you know MVPs who are putting on you know user group leaders you know that are putting on events and just making sure that we're listening and also helping in the ways that everybody wants. You know, it's not like Microsoft. It's more community-led. What do you want? How can we help? You know, yeah. so they're yeah, leading yeah. that, and it's full force, and it it's shows. so exciting. It really shows. Yeah. From the outside. Thank you. So, yeah. Great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for all your support and help on everything. You're very welcome. You give yeah. a lot of really great feedback, and he does it with a lot of kindness and compassion. Well, which thank, I you, appreciate. thank you for inviting me here. It's been yeah. yeah. It's been it's great. awesome. Yeah. Good. Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Okay. See you at the next one. Okay, so I am here with the one of the powerhouses of the organization um, of this amazing com uh, conference, David Warner. Also, the stunt double for Pascal the, Pascal the Dragon. The Power Dragon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you didn't look particularly happy about that. Oh, no, I, you know, I was perfectly happy, but I had to stand next to the other stunt double, Hugo. Uh, so, you know, we sometimes would start breathing fire on one another and it just <laughs> got us hot under the collar, if you will. So The two of you looked quite the picture. Yeah, yeah. it was a lot of fun. I mean, we uh, we kind of got told that if we retweeted so many times, we would do it and we wanted to honor that promise. And it was it was fun. You got to not everything can be business. You have to have fun with it. I, I was responsible for one of those retweets. Uh, so. that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A-OK. -okay. It's the end of the conference now. 
So you must be feeling relieved? I can breathe. Yeah, absolutely. This has been your life for how long? Uh, for close to six months now. I mean, we have an amazing team and there's been a lot of hands on deck. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of the point person along with Heather. And so it's been a lot of long hours and, and worries and coming together. Yeah. Well, it, it's been a fantastic job. So thank you ever so much for all of your efforts and your, your dedication to the community and to the power platform. It's, it's uh, been a pleasure. Yeah coming out of the pandemic now and still somewhat maybe being in the pandemic, right? You're not quite sure where that ends and begins, something yeah. like that. Um, there's the worry at when are people going to be comfortable getting back and, and yeah. ticket sales were kind of slow at first. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that we've just been predisposed the last couple of years to, to, to wait to plan things. It's been hard, um, but we sold out. Uh, for the first ever Power Platform Conference, we sold out. And so I think this was the tipping point that yeah. maybe folks feel it's okay, it's time to get back. And yeah. coming into the keynote, seeing a room this big with this many seats, you kind of forgot what that looks like. Right. Um, and you get it filled with people, yeah. and the energy is just electric. And it, it's like, yeah, this is what we need. We need to be back together. The energy is electric. Yeah. That, was, that sums it up. Absolutely. Nice job, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. Cheers, David. All right. Well, it's um, very early. Um, on the day that I'm departing, my flight is actually going uh, super early. Pretty good night last night, just chilling out. Um, it was nice to just not have the pressure of knowing that I was going to be doing my talk later in the day. I think the overall feeling is that everyone would just like to, you know, hang out and, and socialize more, having not done it for so long. But uh, I've got an Uber waiting, so I'm going to have to go.